sometimes people end up getting possessed or having magic or jinn coming to them because someone sends magic over to them. Sometimes it's due to sins. Sometimes it's due to the fact that the shaitan or the jinn just took a liking to you. Uh, Aww. Um, Wait. What if the shaitan didn't snuggle struggle us and just like like a rose or like a cute message somewhere and like like is that possible i mean if some of them are doing the r thing they're doing the snuggle struggle thing um is it possible that some of them just like are you know if they have a crush on you or if they're in love with you they do you know i, I heard they're good gens so is it possible that you just wake up and somebody just like on your mirror they like put a heart symbol and they just leave your nose or you just wake up and you see like your breakfast was made for you and then you go eat breakfast and then you come to do your bed and you see your bed was made for you and there's a piece of chocolate left on the pillow is that possible as well or they just like snuggle struggle is that the only way but you didn't take pre preventative measures to protect yourself so I'm not going to address the first one about the issue of magic because we've got that in other videos and on the Muslim on, on, on the Knowledge College, which is an online Islamic studies institute. I've got a whole course on how to deal with do ruqya on a person who's possessed or evil eye or suffering from magic. Okay, so you can go to that on the link below and sign up, and it's on one of the bonus courses there. But I want to address the issue of getting attacked mm. or possessed or whatever have you, or jinn messing with you, due to your sins, or due to you maybe not sinning, but also at the same time not protecting yourself from, um, you know, the evil spirits that could be around. Let's talk about the issue of sins first. Brothers and sisters, there is a principle in our religion, al jazau min jinsil abad. A person will be... Uh, okay, here's the thing. Why not take self-defense classes? I mean, if you're being physically abused, that means that you can... They can touch you. So if they can touch you, you can touch them. A person will be given that which we done, that which he done. So if a person is sinning, then that person is opening themselves up for the consequences that come as a result of a sin. Some of these and, and these consequences a lot of the time are punishments, but at the same time, it's like if you do something wrong, something bad is gonna happen. If I stab myself in the chest, I will bleed. If I jump off a building, I will fall. You see what I'm saying? Guys, don't do that, okay? If you do certain sins, rather any sins, there are certain direct consequences that happen as a result of that. One of those such consequences is that the protection of Allah, there is a veil that is protecting you, that is the protection of Allah, it is removed from you because of I've seen I, I use, yeah, I've seen that in World of Warcraft, right? There's like a shield of protection. I think I think you need a priest in your party if you want like Either Allah or a priest in your party. I don't know how much mana that takes, but a good priest is always important in your in your in your you know raids of your sins. For example, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us that people who engage in sexual activity when they're not married, or they might be married but they have sexual Oh yes, life. paladin or priest, either one works. Activity with someone who they're not married, they're having an affair, they're doing adultery. Then what happens is that the person's iman actually comes out of their body at that time. The person's iman, iman, your iman, your Islam. Iman means faith for people who don't know. Leaves your body at that time. It comes back in after the activity is stopped, but at that time your iman is gone, which means you're not being protected. Hmm. So you need to have faith. If you have faith, then you get like a shield, protective shield around you. So. So, ooh, wow, guys, this is such a horrible teaching. That means that that means that if you're being art by a jinn while you're sleeping and you're have suffering, if you have like this sleep paralysis and you feel like somebody is aring you or snuggle struggling you and you're having traumatic experiences, instead of telling you that is that this guy might be telling you that it could be your fault. I mean, that's what isn't that the conclusion that you could get? Like, oh, your faith is what? Why is your sinning or your faith is weak? So imagine telling somebody that has has having such a traumatic 
um, mental breakdown and is having is trying to fix themselves is trying to seek help like this I'm 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 this is happening to me right and they're hallucinating and they need help they need psychological help and this guy is telling them it might be because you're sinning <laughs> or because your faith is not strong and you lost your protective shield of Allah so it's kind of like blaming the victim and like blaming the victim even though you're not a victim of anything this is blaming the victim to a, a much higher level yeah this is like the worst thing you could say to somebody that needs mental help that oh yeah you might be at fault here isn't that that's like really dangerous advice Oh, Luke is saying we need to call the gin busters. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Quick, everyone, grab your local priest for protection. <laughs> Imagine when you, yeah. Man is gone, which means you're not being protected. The worst case is that you die in that state. The angel of death takes your soul, and you're not in a state of iman. <sighs> my God! Imagine dying without iman or faith. But from a lesser case, which is still severe, is that you could at that time be very easily possessed. When people are engaging in sexual intercourse, your iman is gone. You're, you're not. You're, you've you've basically thrown over the, your shoulder the protective barrier that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has placed between you and the evil spirits. Guys, this is so evil, right? Remember how I told you so many times that these. Salespeople like this, they try, they go and find real problems people have, and they try to use that as an opportunity to sell Islam. This is one of those examples. He's like using the, this psychological problem that a lot of people are suffering from as a way to smuggling Islam. And and also to scare other people who are not suffering so, um, psychologically from from this problem. This is a real psychological issue that a lot of people have. But if you're having it, they're like, "Oh, you know what you need? You need more Islam." They're sell. They're using people's mental health problems to sell Islam. And if you don't have this problem, they're like, "Look, all these people are having this problem. You could be next. And you need you need more Islam. You need more Iman. You need Allah in your life." This is taking advantage of people's mental health problems to sell Islam. This is like, this is evil. And you basically said, come, come to me. You've invited them. And that's the case with any sin. But specifically, I want to highlight this issue of sex because we live in a day and age of filth and corruption where people are watching pornography masturbating you know having sex with their boyfriends or their girlfriends or ah, oh my god look at these horrible things he's listening and that's the case with any sin but specifically i want to highlight this issue of sex because we live in a day and age we live in a day and age that what what are the horrible what are the horrible things people are doing of filth and corruption filth Filth and corruption, guys. What is this filth and corruption? Let's see. Where people are watching pornography. Watching pornography. Oh, no. Masturbating. 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 Oh, no. Think about the countless number of people who are being harmed because you just masturbated in your private area. Oh, and oh my God. The damage that this is causing to society. What else? What else? You know, having sex with their boyfriend. Having sex with the person they're in a relationship with. Oh no, the humanity. The... Oh my God, save these people somehow. Oh my God, I was a bit laughing in a shaitan regime. Friends or their girlfriends or are they girlfriends? Sometimes not even a boyfriend girlfriend. It's a random chick. Just oh, randomly random chick. Sometimes it's not even the boyfriend. Like they're just having fun because they want to adult consensual adults to having fun with. With each other oh no just, just have sex with a random guy just have sex with him uh you know maybe it's not the complete sexual intercourse but they're giving each other oral sex they're touching oral sex no no stop it just stop stop each other in the places their lips in snogging oh stop. <laughs> what the 
this is tragic. Being sexual intercourse, but they're giving each other oral sex. They're touching each other in inappropriate places. They're, they're touching each other in a, in a, in inappropriate places. What else? What else? Lips in, snogging, kissing, all that. Snogging, kissing. Oh, no, no. Falls up into this because it's an evil sin and it all comes under the category of what you would call fahsha. 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 Yes, I heard this before. Fahsha, which means filthy evil acts. Filthy evil acts. Okay, filthy. filthy. You guys, you guys are filth. Kissing each other, touching each other in a, in appropriate places, giving each other oral sex. Sometimes not even with your boyfriends and your girlfriends, and just with other adults who are consenting that you do these things to each other, and having fun. You disgust. You disgust me, all of you. You disgust me. Filth. Disgusting. Ob ob lewd acts. Obscene acts. Sexual kind of uh, perversions that perversion. awful. Yeah, yeah, sexual perversion. You unlike our prophet who had who had a nine-year-old girl and did and did marry her when he was six. She was six, and then our oh had I can't even say that on YouTube. I can't even see YouTube ruins everything. YouTube just ruins everything. Okay, you know what the prophet did. You know what their prophet is. They calling these stuff these stuff the adult. At consenting adults having fun with each other and enjoying life this short 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 life that we have how much how much harmless pleasure do we get in this life right how, how old do we get to be 70 years what are these pleasures that this life has to offer we have food we have sex we have friendship we have it, you know, intellectual discussions reading books there's not much guys there's just a few things where we have we have like you know, learning new things, meeting new people, having sex with people that we are attracted to. I mean, these people are ruining it. And like, we're we're trying to find out how to have fun without harming anybody. And they're like, these are disgusting, fash, ah, fash, ah, you degenerates, you pieces of ah, garbage. And then they have a prophet that actually managed to have the most disgusting, vile, harmful way of as you know satisfying these desires with a nine-year-old girl with a nine-year-old girl and they're talking about the prophet they these people celebrate the prophet that took sex slaves sex slaves people women who were married they captured in war and they had sex with them against their own will and they had dare they dare shame the rest of us for having fun without harming anybody like the amount of hypocrisy here. I can't believe like these, I can't believe that the audacity these people have to come look at you and tell you that you're disgusting for enjoying life without having, without hurting anybody, without do doing it in a way that is completely consensual and, and while celebrating the exact, while celebrating people and ideas and, and, and teachings that was the exact opposite. That teaches you that you that you could satisfy these these desires. I mean, in the most vile and disgusting ways. I mean, these people need to look into a mirror before they point to the finger at anybody else. These people have no business telling you that you're disgusting. If these teachings, whether Christian to Islam, if they have ever made you ashamed of any feelings or any desires that you had, it, it, where where it didn't involve children, where it didn't involve doing anything with to people who did not consent then 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 you can you should you should look at the, they they harmed you every shame that you felt because of these people and these teachings is them harming you 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 these people owe you a, a life that could have been you know a healthy sex life that could have gone without any guilt and any shame that you could have you know if you grew up under this these teachings and you have spent a lot of years with shame and guilt these people wronged you these people these teachings they wronged you they wronged you so badly they took a, i mean life is short and they took a lot of it from you what yeah falls under it and this is so common i mean find me a person who's safe from this in this day and age find me a boy or a girl that's a muslim that goes to your college or school that has never even at least lips the guy it's rare i'm not saying there's none but it's rare wait what are we talking so, about this, that all falls under it and this is so common i mean find me a person who's safe from this in this day and age find me a boy or a girl that's a muslim that goes to your college or school that has never even at least lips the guy 
It's rare. I'm not saying there's none, but it's rare. 